Hello everyone, welcome to our channel where we give you latest news all around the world. UK Parliament prepares to discuss the adoption, repatriation of Mazina Amdekanu from Kenya to Nigeria. Yeah, my people, um, based on the reports we have gathered so far, we have seen how Mazina Amdekanu was blackmailed back to Nigeria by the Nigerian government. We first heard uh, that the Nigerian government were in collaboration with the British government lawing him back to Nigeria. Another report claimed that he was lured from Kenya back to Nigeria. And the thing is that the both countries have debunked the news to be rumors that they have never had any hands in Mazen and Rikanu's arrest based on the lies the Nigerian government are feeding Nigerians. And now before I start reading the news, if you are just watching us for the first time without subscribing, please do us if evil by hitting the subscribe button down below. In that way, that will notify you whenever I drop a new video. And I pray, as we keep supporting our channel, God will keep sending people to support you. Amen. Now, this is David. The United Kingdom Parliament is set to commence a debate on the adoption and repatriation of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran, Inam De Kano, from Kenya to Nigeria. The British government has clarified that Inam De Kano, who was traveling with a British passport, was not arrested within its shores and Kostovasis trailed the circumstances and where the separatist leader was repatriated from. The indigenous people of Biafran had accused the Buhari's regime of adopting its leader in an East African country, a claim confirmed by Mr. Kanus Antony, if I age of four, we accused Kenya's special police force of arresting detaining and torturing him before he was later handed over to the Nigerian government. Meanwhile, Kenya High Commissioner to Nigeria, Wifwe Machag, had refuted claims that Mr. Nam Dekanu was arrested in the country, stating that it was not involved in the whole process. Mr. Machag described the claims as deliberately concocted to fuel antagonistic feelings in the minds of certain sections of Nigerian people against the people of Kenya. But the UK Parliament, in a parliamentary schedule, we set aside a debate on Wednesday, July 7, to discuss the British government's assessment of Kenya's role in Mr. Inam De Kano's arrest. According to the document, Lord Alton of Liverpool will be raising the issue at the House of Lords and will be queried the government on the separatist leaders transfer to Nigeria. Lord Alton of Liverpool to ask Her Majesty's government what assessment they have made of the alleged role of the government of Kenya in the detention and alleged mistreatment of Nigerian activists in Namde Kano. The circumstances surrounding the transfer of Mr. Kano to Nigeria against his will and of any assistance being provided to him by the High Commission in Abuja. Last week, the head of communications, British High Commission in Abuja, Dean Olok, confirmed that the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office will provide consular assistance to Mr. Nnamdi Kano with regard to any questions about whether the British High Commission is providing assistance in this case. We can confirm that the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office stands ready to provide consular assistance. Mr. Nam De Kano, also British national, who was rearrested by the Nigerian government last week and faces an 11 count charge of treason, treasonable felony, terrorism, and illegal possession of firearms, among others. All right, guys, um, that's it for the news now. Let me share my opinion with you. Yeah, my people, um, now we can see that the United Kingdom has finally reacted to the arrest of Mazi Inam De Kano, claiming that Inam De Kano was never arrested by the British government. Now, the indigenous people of Biafran had accused the Boaris government for its adoption. Why the lawyer to the Mazi Inam De Kano had accused the Kenya's government from handing him over to the Niger government after being detained in their country. This had all started with the Niger government, the hatred they have for Mazi Inam De Kano. The eight they are for the Indibos, the eight they are for the Biafra nation. The Nigerian government am um, charging Mazinam De Kano for 11 count charge of treason, not to talk about the evil agenda they have for him. How the Nigerian government had wanted to kill Inam De Kano at his house. Military forces were sent to assassinate him. That was why he left the country. 
Ever since then, he had never stopped standing for the truth, fighting for Biafra Nation. After so many threats from the Nigerian government, the people in the southeast are being oppressed by Fulani herdsmen, killing innocent people, destroying their farms, raping, kidnapping, and are facing all these crises that with all these citizens now for their arms, getting killed by these terrorists. After the Gadia government has done nothing to protect them against these terrorists. When the fact still remains that everyone is now asking for a breakaway from the country called Nigerian, a country where there is no peace, the people, they live in fear of terrorists. Now, the UK government have come to realize that what is going on in Nigeria is a serious crime against humanity. All the Nigerian uh, government responsible for using force against the citizen. I read the news that uh, the National Assembly just passed a new bill to jail protesters for good five years, which means that any person that takes part in a mob action should be in prison. See the same evil deeds against citizens. Although um, this is a good move um, for the UK government because it is quite unfortunate that this current Boris administration has no regard for life of the citizens. They counted all these charges against Mazinam de Kano, also labeling him as a terrorist. So what counts of charges would they label to the real terrorists that have destroyed the government, even the citizens? Now, let's see if the UK government have the power of an independent country like Nigeria, because they need to know that the Nigeria government had already destroyed the constitution guiding the governance in the Nigeria. And the highest of any country can do is to sanction the Nigerian government, which the Nigerian government are not ready to stop the persecution of Mazi in Amdekano till all these foreign countries intervene. Uh, with so much aid um, the Nigerian government have for this Mazi in Amdekano, not to talk about the hatred for Biafans. Now, I'm talking about the Indibos. They are not bad people. They are a tribe that wants their rights, their justice, their independence. Just like every other citizen wants a breakaway from this so-called Nigerian. There was no constitution at the first place. Because if there was human rights law, Inam Dekano would not be blackmailed back to Nigeria. And he would never be labeled as a terrorist. Not to talk about the way the Nigerian government has treated Mars Inam Dekano. So the Biafans has no choice than to react against this wickedness of the Nigerian government. Alright guys, um, that is it for you all. I want to thank you for your support on this channel. It is not taken for granted. And please don't forget to share your thoughts on the comment section below. After watching, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you next time till I come your way. Bye, bye bye.